Well, debate is heating up in the Indiana General Assembly over a bill that could make it easier for the city of Indianapolis to consolidate smaller fire departments. News 8's Adam Pinsker joins us live. And Adam, why do critics of the bill say townships are being cut out of this process? Yeah, they say they're being silenced, April. Senate Bill 54 would only allow a Marion County Township Fire Department to be consolidated into the Indianapolis Fire Department if the mayor adopts an ordinance for consolidation and it is approved by the Indianapolis City County Council. Officials in several Marion County townships say this bill extinguishes their voice on this issue. Dozens of fire chiefs, township board members, and people just worried about their safety crammed into a small Senate committee hearing room on Wednesday. Most of them spoke out against Senate Bill 54. My hope is that you will not support this bill. We are lucky to have a fire department that is so involved in our community. The bill sponsor, Hamilton County State Senator Scott Baldwin, says the current fragmented model of fire service in Indianapolis is inconsistent with what is provided in other cities comparable in size to Indianapolis. It adds services that are not currently offered, dive rescue response teams, ha hazardous materials response teams, technical uh, rescue response teams, including confined space, collapse, high angle, low angle rescues and things like that. Senator Baldwin says merging the townships of Decatur, Pike, and Wayne into the Indianapolis Fire Department will save a combined $40 million in lower residents' fire tax levy by 1.523%. But critics say those savings won't kick in until after the township's debt is paid off. The Wayne Township Fire Department is already trying to merge with Indianapolis Fire, and the legislation could fast-track that process. Some believe this is another attempt by state lawmakers to meddle in Marion County's local affairs. Senator Baldwin and Kreider are not from the area. Uh, we already have Aaron Freeman that's trying to work on some no turn on reds. A lot of people in Marion County are not real happy with outside influence on our local governments. Senate Pensions and Labor Committee Chairman scheduled another meeting on this bill for next week where amendments to it can be made. Adam Pinsker, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook for more updates.